how to make a planner in Canva for Amazon KDP. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a planner in Canva using app for Amazon KDP. So let's get into it now. I'm not going to be focusing on how you can make your cover page or, you know, the front and back pages because I have detailed videos on that for Amazon KDP. I'm going to be focusing on how you can actually make your internal planner pages. So what you're just going to do is you're going to click on custom size over here and then you're going to add the size of your pages so if you go on to amazon kdp or kdp.amazon.com you can find different templates for how to design your cover pages now if you're taking a six by nine inch page then your cover page measurements are going to be different but if you're creating the internal pages you can just use six by nine so i'm just going to add six by nine inches and i'm going to click on create new design and you can design according to whatever size preference you have for the Amazon templates. That's totally up to you, but I'm just using going with six by nine because it's a pretty standard size and it's pretty easy to print even if I'm not printing using Amazon KDP. Now, once I have done that, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go on to the element section. I'm gonna go into lines and shapes and I'm gonna take this simple black line. I'm gonna place it over here and I'm gonna expand it like so. And then I'm going to center this line and what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to make a simple little box, like the purple box that appears on the grid lines when I'm aligning everything. So I'm just going to place this over here and I'm going to place this over here and I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to add this line vertically like this and make sure it's at a sharp 90 degree angle. Now I'm going to do control C and control V once more and I'm going to place this over here. And now I have a simple little box. Now, I'm creating a boxed kind of look for my calendar or planner or whatever you might want to create. You can create a different kind of look for your planner, but you're going to follow the basic instructions of that. And I'm going to show you how you can make it look less boxy. Now, after that, I'm just going to add lines on to here. And you might be wondering, these are just dark and thick lines. Don't, don't worry, I'm going to erase these out later on and I'm gonna change the color and do all of that later. So after that, I have just added this section over here and I'm gonna add like three sections or four sections because I want to add Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays onto this. And then I'm gonna add maybe Friday, Saturday, Sundays on the next page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add this over here at a optimum distance. First, I'm gonna add one line to the center, which is around here. So this is the center. Of the overall page and then I can add one on top on the bottom so I'm just gonna place this right at halfway through so I want to make sure that this is we're slightly lower than halfway because I'm gonna add like Monday Tuesday Wednesday text as well so I'm just gonna place these over here like this and then I'm going to do control C and control V. I'm going to place this over here and then I can just make sure that the distance is equal. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll and take these four lines together and I'm going to go on to the weight and I'm going to change the line weight to two. So the lines are a lot less thicker. Now I'm going to go onto the color section. I can change the colors and all that, but I'm going to do that later on because that is going to be done all together. I'm going to follow like a singular color scheme. I'm just going to scroll this down a bit like this. And then you can select all these lines together and then you can click on group and then group them together. And then you can also click on the crop style and positioning and you can just center them all together. And you want to click on tidy up over here and then this will make sure that all of these lines are equaled out now after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy and paste the thin line over here and i'm just going to place it vertically as well to get a estimate of how the vertical sections are going to look like now i'm just going to go ahead and make this like a three or four section tier so I think this would look a bit too boxy, so I'm going to remove the edges and I'm going to expand the calendar to the edges as well. And I'm just going to expand like so. I'm just going to use like general estimates and I'm going to make it non-boxy at the end anyways. So I don't really have to worry about making sure everything is perfectly aligned like this. I just need to make sure that the end sections are not too small. And I think they look pretty good right now. So I'm just going to place these lines and expand them till the ends as well. Like this at a zero degree angle. 
and I'm just going to make sure everything is aligned. Then you can tidy these up. You don't need to worry too much about it. But I'm going to make sure that the ending is okay because I'm going to leave like a note section at the bottom. So like this, once I have done that, I'm just going to go onto the text section. I'm going to click on add a subheading and I'm just going to write Monday over here. I'm going to add Monday and I'm going to resize the text like this. I'm going to place it over here at the side so i'm just going to place it like this monday and then i'm going to just click on the text again and then i'm going to copy and undo this i'm going to place it right over here at the edge i'm going to do Control c and Control v place it like so make sure it's aligned i'm going to add tuesday and then i'm going to make sure that it is aligned with this line i'm just going to copy this block and then i'm going to paste it over here tuesday wednesday like this make sure it's aligned then just copy it once more thursday place it at the section over here and now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go into the element section i'm going to take this square over here I'm going to reduce the size by a lot and I'm just going to zoom into my calendar to see how it's going to look like. So I'm just going to take the square and make sure it's square. I'm going to do 0.4 by 4 and I'm going to change the color to pink because I really like pink. I'm going to take a lighter shade of pink because this is a bit too red and now I'm going to take this kind of pink. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Control c and Control v and I'm going to place this on the edge of the entire grid. So I'm just going to delete this and delete this. And I'm going to place this at the edge of the grid over here like so. And what I can do is I can just click on lock. Oh, I can just unlock this. I can just select these all together. I can do Control c and Control v and then I can just place these down below like this. Because I'm going to delete the black lines anyways, so I can just select them all together like that and then place them like so accordingly. So I'm just going to undo that and I'm going to select them like this. Or you can just even delete the lines all together and then just start placing them below. So you can just delete these horizontal lines now, or vertical lines. And just use the boxes at the top as a reference like this and then you can just keep on placing these on the bottom like this and then you have your note section like this we're gonna add the last section of dates so we have four or five weeks one two three four five weeks so yeah this was supposed to be the note section so make sure that everything is aligned so what you're just going to do is you're going to select these all together like so so we're just going to make sure none of it is not according to your alignment process so everything looks pretty good i'm going to make sure it's pretty straight yeah now after that what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take some text and i'm going to place it at the bottom over here and i'm going to change the text to notes now what i can really do is i can really just change the overall color scheme to anything i want i can just select the entire grid like this and I can select for the brand kit, I can go on to the pinks, and I can make this like entire thing pink. So I can just change that like so, and then I can select the text color, and I can change that into a darker shade of pink as well if I want, but I think it looks pretty good the other way that I had it. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is, but I'm gonna have like pink lines instead and I'm gonna change the notes and I'm going to change up the font. So I'm just gonna make this a different font and i'm going to use this font for the notes and then what i'm just going to do is i'm going to click on duplicate page and then instead of mondays i'm just going to add friday i'm going to add saturday i'm going to add sunday and then i'm just going to add notes over here and what i'm going to really do is i'm going to delete the corner blocks the corner column of blocks delete the bottom notes and then I can write scheduled or feelings or anything like that. And then I can just click on duplicate page and add these pages as many times as I want to create my digital planner. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.